Uh, today we're going to do a multi-layered patina on a uh, bronze pig. Okay, so when you're doing a multi-layered patina, this is hot, uh, you have to consider what type of patina it is you're going to do. Are you going to do an opaque patina, uh, semi-transparent, or transparent? That will determine what you're going to do to the surface. Uh, now you're ready to uh, wire brush. You've sandblasted and you're ready to bring the surface up. When you're using brushing and this brings it up to a sort of a slight shiny surface. Um, the chemicals we're going to use are liver of sulfur, that's, that'll be our base patina, that's going to give us our darks and lights. Then we're going to come in with ferric nitrate which is a brown, then we're going to use cupric nitrate uh, which is a green mixed with the brown and we're going to alternate these two and then for my fourth one I've mixed cupric nitrate with ferric nitrate. You can do it either way. Some people like to do the cupric first or ferric first and then alternate back and forth. Some people like to mix the two together. We're going to use all four of these. So now we'll put the liver on. This will darken it. This is a good way to tell how good your chasing is too. It'll tell how, how, how if you've chased, had to do some chasing on the piece, uh, this will tell you a lot of how good the chasing was. That means how you clean the metal up once. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull the, the liver off the top portion of the piece and it will stay in the recess. Now what I usually do is I now will heat this up and that will determine how dark this really is because you can't really tell yet how dark the liver is. Right now it looks fairly light and it's only dark within these recessed areas but once we heat it up it's going to go darker and you may not want that because that's going to make your patina darker uh, so you want to heat it up look at it if you think it's too go too dark you go back and you scrub it again with uh, yeah, the it's not too bad looks pretty good right here on the snout of the pig uh, it's looking a little bit dark to me so I think I'm going to take it back um, and probably uh, lighten it up a little with the scotch brush your metal. Uh, one of the problems when you're heating metal is different thicknesses in the metal. So it's difficult to tell when it's at the right temperature. One of the ways to do it is with a chip brush in distilled water. Another way would be with an optical barometer, which you can buy fairly reasonable nowadays. So we'll put the brush on and see what happens. Just about right. See how it's steaming on there? Just perfect. If it doesn't steam, heat that area up a little bit. It's pretty thick, so it's going to stay hot for quite a long time. If it was a thin piece of metal, it would lose its heat very quickly. So we're going to start off with very nitrate. I want a fine mist because I want just a very even patina. And a spray bottle does a very good job at that. You could use a brush or you could use a sponge, but for this, a spray bottle will be the best. So that's pretty good for my brown. Next, I'm going to put just a little bit of green in. Again, we're going to have sort of a fine mist. This will make it just a little bit more of a yellowy gold. You can see the greens forming, then the ferric will go over the top of that. Now I'm going to put some more ferric back on. We're always consistently heating it.
straight mixed together, which you can also do. See kind of that rich sort of brown gold you're getting? Go back to the ferret just for a second. Something a little different here. This is a, a product that Sculpt Novo makes. It's a dioxide and it's transparent. Sometimes if you want a little more gold uh, in your patina, you can use this just before you put on your glaze coat. The glaze coat would be a ferric nitrate. So I'm going to put a little of this on over the top of this. This will give me just a little bit more yellow. Now what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to burnish this back just a little bit with some uh, bronze wool just to give me some little more dark, uh, highlight areas on the top of the pig. Okay. This is uh, bronze wool. Uh, you can get that through Sculpt Nouveau or you can look on the internet and try and find it. Um, it's nice. I use it instead of steel wool because I don't like the I don't want to impart any iron onto the piece uh, or any oil. This doesn't have an oil in it. So I use bronze wool. So what I'm going to do now is just sort of pull back a little bit and I'm going to come back into this again with my ferric. There you have it. Now we'll wax this. Our new neutralizing agent is almost dries instantly, but it neutralizes the chemicals. Now we're ready for wax. So the next thing we'll do, I usually put on my wax uh, while it's fairly hot. Uh, this is Sculpt Nouveau's uh, clear wax. I think I'm going to put a little brown too, and it'll kind of go into the crevices. If you said I'm going to put a little brown in. Now if you have any kind of ridges forming from your brush, which you wouldn't because this is so hot, it's going to melt in real nicely, but if you were to do it when it was colder and you had ridges when you were putting the brush, as you were stroking the brush, you want to come back with a rag immediately and wipe it real good so it's very smooth. You don't want any ridges to stay on there because once the piece gets cold, you're not going to be able to get the ridges out. 